Hi gardening friends. I'm Lark and I'm in Wisconsin Zone 5. And I'd like to take you for a walk through my early spring perennial bed. Right now I am down in my container bog area and I just got done showing you all my compost pile and where I'm planting my blueberries. So let's take a walk over to my wild perennial flower bed. Nothing much going on, but any color is welcome this time of the year. Daffodils are, these are a later one. Some are already done. These here are doubles or triples. And if I were to do it over again, I would not buy these because when it rains or a heavy wind, the heads are so heavy that they break over, you know, and snap off very easily. I like the old fashioned uh, singles. This is one of them. And why so many daffodils? My deer don't eat them. Right now, the May apples are popping up. They must know it's almost May. Those are very aggressive. So wherever you plant them, you be better be ready for them taking off and going wherever they want to go. So this area here is okay. I have some violets that come back every year to a wild violet. These are purple. There's some that are white with a purple center. But really quite carefree. And you know, the bees are loving them right now. There isn't too much the bees can uh, get their pollen from or I don't know what else they get. But they like the violets. Where are the purple ones? The purple and white. So pretty. You hear the birdies? So nice. Oh, big old bumblebee. Some daffodil distributors say, oh, you should dig your daffodils and divide them every so many years. I don't think so. They're going to do whatever they do because it's too thick in here and the tree ruts will be much too hard. So... They're here to stay, but it keeps the deer out of here. There, the hostas are in here, a hosta garden, and they would love to get the tips of the hostas just coming out. Wildflower, another wildflower is Dutchman's Britches. Tiny white flower, real delicate foliage, kind of like the foliage of a bleeding heart. That was sold as a pink, but it's more salmon than it is pink. And several of these varieties are fragrant, so it really smells good, especially in the morning here. Now these are the Tia Teas, and you can see they're almost done. They bloom first, but they're tiny, 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 tiny. I'll get my hand on here. See how tiny they are? So pretty. Lungwort. Right here. Very pretty. Later in the season, the leaves get bigger and are a silver spot. Silver spotted. And I really mulched heavy down here with leaves. I raked nothing this year. 
I just put more leaves on because it's so dry underneath these big old tamaracks and aspen. Ligularia uh, or thello. Not blooming, of course. It's late in the summer more, but the foliage is a burgundy red. Oh, I'm not going to walk you in the woods today, but the marsh marigolds are starting to bloom too. So pretty in bloom, but then the buds are pretty too. All the wild iris are coming up. I have a wild onion in here too. What do they call them? Ramps? Right in here. Along with some alliums in here. This is some type of uh, anemone, a wild anemone, I think. Grape hyacinths. Oh, trilliums are starting to pop through here. Not blooming yet, not these. But soon. Several clumps in here. Lily of the Valley are popping up here. It'll be so fragrant once they start blooming. Again, aggressive. So if you anybody plants Lily of the Valley, you better make sure you have it in an area that you don't care if it goes crazy or have a strong back and hands and wrists so you can dig it out. This is a, a trillium also, a woodland trillium, and the foliage is so pretty. And then the flower is kind of a burgundy. Very pretty. They take so long to multiply. Hostas are coming up. fox den and I haven't seen the fox in months. I hear him and I hear the new pups, but they must be cross crick. That's okay, as long as they're nearby. Now everything here that looks so thick, grass-like, this was blue scillas, cobalt blue scillas. So pretty, especially in mass like I had them, but I didn't get when they were the prettiest. And they're all, all throughout the perennial bed. So up here, there's a lot of brown yet, but it'll be popping in a month for sure. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll walk you through. But some of you requested a spring walk. And that's it. Just happy to be outside, cleaning up. Last year in my gardens, I did the chop and drop. So uh, it's messy, but I'm hoping it feeds the soil. So take care, my gardening friends. Enjoy yourself out in your gardens. I like watching all your videos. Bye-bye.